everyone, my name is Emma Carmen, and I will be doing conversations with coaches around the NCATA for the next week or so. Today we will have two conversations. Up first from East Texas Baptist University will be Farah Dunaway. Farah will be joining us. She enters her third year as the cheer coach at ETBU. And prior to that, she was a high school cheer coach for three years. She has had plenty of experience within the cheer industry at East Texas Baptist University. And she also was a coach at Mary Hardin Baylor. She is hoping to take her success into coaching for the acrobatics and tumbling team at East Texas Baptist University. And she will be joining us in just a second here. Yesterday, we had the opportunity to talk to Choan and Gannon University, if you want to check those out at any of our social media, whether it be our Instagram TV or our Twitter or our Facebook. And each of these will be getting sent to our YouTube channel as all. So if you miss any of them by any chance, you can just re-go through and watch them. And we up next in the next couple of days, later on today, we'll be hearing from Shelby Armstrong from Davis and Elkins. And then we will be hearing from Frostburg State University, Quinnipiac University, West Liberty University, and the University of Oregon. So Fair is going to be joining us in just a second here. We are just going to discuss a little bit more about East Texas Baptist University. Thank you so much, Sarah. Hey, how are you today? I'm great, doing well. I just want to talk about exactly what your background has brought, but we'll just start off with, just tell us a little bit more about Baptist, where it's and what are some of your within your team? Okay, um, you're breaking up a little bit, but I'm just going to pretend I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> so um, East Texas Baptist University, if you're looking at the state of Texas, is right on the border between Texas and Louisiana in the upper northern um, East Texas um, location. Um, what was the other question? What are some of the athletic strengths of your team? So we are a young team. This will be going into um, our second slash third. Year. <laughs> um, one of the strengths I would have to say is um, just the unity and the um, foundation of the program and the athletes themselves. Um, I have had the ability over the last almost two decades now to work with female athletes and just begin to develop them um, on a personal level through athletics. And because of that, that's helped us gauge a, a, a pretty solid foundation um, when it comes to the program itself. The girls not only like to be around each other, but they crave each other when they're not together, which is so awesome to see as a coach and as a mom too. Mm -hmm. um, as far as skills, we, I'm a very um, acro oriented coach. So I would say one of our strengths would have to be in the building aspect of what we do. Perfect. So like the background when it comes to coaching cheer, how do you get involved with acrobatics and tumble? So I played college um, soccer. And I've always been, um, although I've coached cheer for almost 20 years now, I've always been the athlete and the coach that is, has the mindset of just, you know, shut up and play, you know. I just want to get out there and I want to beat someone to the ball. I don't want to have to, you know, this is going to be offensive, but I don't want to kissy face my way into, um, into a score. And what really drew me into acrobatics and tumbling was the pure athleticism in the sport and and that it's different than cheer it's um it's it's beautiful it's beautiful artistically it's beautiful to go out there and watch women from every background in, in athletics come together and learn something new and just create 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 not only the sport itself but every aspect of what they do out there, they're building. So I love the simple fact that, you know, I have an athletic background, but I've worked with cheerleaders for a day. So I have the ability to stack people. Um, but what's so great about that is just the, just the beauty of bringing all of that together with acrobatics and tumbling. So on the academic side, what are some of the strengths and maybe some of the factors that are more Texas? Yeah, so um, I don't mean to brag, but 
East Texas Baptist University is the top nursing school in the state of Texas. We have a 100% pass rate um, on the nursing exam, which is phenomenal. Um, outside of nursing, we have a really great um, education um, uh, school of education. We have, um, obviously, we're a Baptist university, so we've got great religion um, majors that come through here. We have um, music as well. Um, there are uh, theater majors that come through here. We have a really strong theater department. Um, and then business accounting is what I see a lot outside of the education and um, nursing or medical realm. Perfect. So what are some of the highlights that you've experienced, obviously, in New York, but what are some of the experiences that way being the head there? Wow. Um, this has been a wild ride in, in creating this here at ETBU because, because of my background at the time, I I think I might have been one of two, if not the only coach in the NCATA that did not either create the sport, um, didn't play in the sport, or didn't have an acrobatics and tumbling background in some form or fashion. So with a lot of prayer and seeking the Lord on what in the world do I do here? How do I keep these humans safe with trying to learn, learn this new sport? Um, one of the greatest things is just seeing the journey from, oh, holy mess, what, what are we doing to, wow, did you just see that? And, and you know, even in an athlete's performance, you know, going, watching an athlete come in, having no idea about the sport, having no idea what their body could do, and then seeing the process through, seeing them buy into the program and buy into um, acrobatics and tumbling and falling in love with the sport, falling in love with each other, um, traveling, getting to see other programs, other schools, that has been the most um, rewarding aspect of it. Yes, I love athletics. Yes, I love being able to um, be a part of women's lives through athletics. But with acrobatics and tumbling, watching the athletes come in, having no earthly idea what they are going to face and seeing them buy into the process and just really watch their labor turn into fruit at the end, it is so rewarding. I agree with that. I it too. Experience at Quinnipiac, but last, what are your hopes for of your own? Um, for my own program, in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to deal with COVID anymore. Um, it was really hard to watch my team this last semester with, yeah, I'm sure, like with every other team, but watch them lose their season. So my hope for them is multiple layers, I guess. I, I want them to be able to compete. I want them to be able to see that their work is worth it. I want them to fall in love with each other and the sport and, and leave the university knowing that they were the best athlete they could possibly be um, and then get the most out of this chapter in their lives. You know, as a student athlete, this is it. You know, we get this four year chapter of our lives and and I don't want it fast forwarded for them. I want them to be able to um, seize the day and enjoy what God has for them here. And I know that he has a plan for all of this. I just want. Um, I want them to be able to experience it. Makes sense. And I agree with that. A lot of the other seasons get only acrobatic. But thank you so much, Sarah, for tuning into another conversation with us. Up next, I will be talking to Sean Strong from Davis Elkins at 5 p.m. Standard Time, so a little less than a I'm Emma Carmel, between one to two times a day with coaches from around the world. Remember, if you cannot tune in live, out these on our TV or on our Facebook, Twitter. Thank you so much again, Farah. Thanks, Emma.